All right, so I thought I'd show how you can answer a math question on a multiple choice quest or a multiple cho choice tw test. Wow, I can't fucking talk right now. How to answer a multiple choice question. Just make it that. When without even reading the fucking question, right? So we're gonna have four options: A, B, C, and D, or whatever the hell they want to call them. You've got, you know, the question is like up here. Okay, don't care what the question is. In this case, it's a math question. So, your answers look like some, something like this. Yeah, okay. So I was just making shit up as we go. So, given this, this is the answer right there. Okay? And the way that you can tell, look at that first digit. This one occurs more than once. Look at that second digit. This one occurs more than once. Three. Four only occurs one time. Here, three only occurs one time. One only occurs one time. Two only occurs one time. Those aren't in the answer. This one, every digit in that answer occurs more than once in, in other options. This is the correct answer. Like 98% of the time, this is going to be the correct answer. You don't even have to read the fucking question at all. It doesn't matter what the question is. If you can see this, see, just look at that first digit. Which one is repeated? It's two, so it's one of the two ones, almost guaranteed. We've got 36 twice, well, so 236, it's that one. But if you, you know, you look a little bit more carefully, you get 30 something, you know, and you get ending in six quite a lot. So it ends in a six, it's got a three in that second digit, and it's got a two in that first digit. You can tell that just from the answers. So sitting there, Reading the question and obsessing over whether you know enough to solve the question on your own is a stupid fucking way to approach this type of test. It's multiple choice. Use that to your advantage. If you don't do it, if you don't do that and you just try to answer the questions on your own, you're a goddamn idiot. There's no two ways about it. If that's your approach... That's why you have test anxiety. <laughs> because if that's your approach, then your only way of going about this is to magically understand how to do every single problem. <clears throat> Which maybe you can. Maybe you can do that. But let me tell you, most people can't. Most people can't do that. But when it's multiple choice, suddenly there's information in the possible answers that makes it way more accessible. So what I would do when I made tests for my students, I would actually give them questions that were impossible for them to answer based on what I knew they knew. Right? Like, I know that this question in and of itself is just too advanced for them they cannot answer this question. But, I would make the answers like this, so that you can actually test whether your students are able to understand the entire amount of information that was given to them. The possible answers is information. <laughs> We're giving you information in the test, by giving you a possible range of answers. 
right? So say say it was like this. Okay. So now this is like that one where the the dude like obsessed over where to place the decimal point. Oh, when I do percents, I make sure I move the decimal point. Okay. This one is now it's now very much like that. It's relevant now, right? So here, if you're just doing the the math yourself and you're not looking at the information given to you by the possible answers. Which one of these is it? Well, when I work it, oh, I got 23.6. Boom, I'm going to mark that. But obviously, that's a stupid fucking answer. Because when you look at all of the options, if you actually bother to look at the answers, it's not going to be that. Because every other option has the decimal point after the first digit. So here you got all the digits right, but you you made some mistake with the decimal point. Right? Typically, you know, typically your answers aren't going to be this blatant, but sometimes they fucking are. <laughs> right? Sometimes they are. And it's always a good idea to look at what your answers are, what your potential answers are. If it's a multiple choice test, this is information that is given to you as part of the problem, right? It's like you're playing chess. You can see all of the other person's pieces. Why are you, like, artificially blinding yourself to where all of the pawns are? Why would you do that? What? And you have to go out of your way to do that. You have to deliberately not look. Why? Why? It gives you no advantage, and it gives you a, a very distinct disadvantage. What are you doing? And then you, you complain that you can't pass tests? That's because you're fucking retarded. You're not using the information that's available to you. And to be fair, 100%, like, no cap, right now. Like I said... This was part of my job to get students who hadn't seen math class since 6th or 7th grade, or, you know, hadn't participated in a math class, and now they're, you know, 17, <laughs> about to join the workforce, and they have, like, A credit in high school. So they're not getting a diploma, right? They're not going to sit down and finish high school. Okay, what they're going to do, they're going to go get their GED. Okay, so what my job was, was to help them do that. So, the, sh the kinds of shit that I'm telling you here is the kinds of shit that I told them. And these guys, who are 16, 17, 18, with the last six years, no experience in mathematics in just a matter of a few days, really just a few hours of me talking to them over the course of a few days, I was able to bring them up from that level, that old, stale, sixth grade knowledge of mathematics, to being able to pass the GED, not ace it, you know, we're not getting 90%, but we're passing it, so that you get your GED and now you look more attractive to employers. And you can, if you want to, move on to college. <clears throat> right? This is the kind of information I'm giving them. Right? And these are people... Like, if you gave them an IQ test, and a, large, a lot of this is just going to be because of the lack of schooling. If you gave them an IQ test, they're going to come out below average. Right? So, in that sense... They're going to look like, clinically, like they actually are mentally retarded. Whether they actually are or not. Just because of their history. But I can get them to pass a GED. Okay. Like, this is the shit I'm trying to explain to you. The way that you're approaching qu test questions is just fundamentally wrong and it's causing you problems okay focusing on what is the text of the question 
and completely ignoring what the possible answers are is dumb as fuck. That is why you fail tests. That is why you miss questions. Almost guaranteed it's like 75 or 80% of the reason that you miss questions is because you did not look at what the possible answers were beforehand. You just read the question and tried to work it on your own and you didn't think about it. You, you didn't look around at the environment that was provided for you. You didn't pay attention to what's going on. That's stupid. And this is a skill that translates to the real world. Paying attention to the information people are giving you, even when it's an off-brand venue, is a very good skill to have. There's a lot of ways people tell you things. It's not always a direct, like, oh, can you wash my car today? It might be like, hey, it, it rained yesterday, but now, like, the schedule, the, the, the forecast looks like it, the sky's clear. Um, yeah, it might be something like that, where there's sort of, like, hinting that you should wash the car, or, you know. Just a random ass example. Um, you know, shit like that. Right? That's that's sort of like reading the, the possible answers. It's there's information there. There's a reason they're saying these things. You just have to like pay attention and figure out what the why. Why are they saying these things? People don't say shit just to say shit. People say shit because they want to communicate something. <laughs> but the majority of stuff that they're communicating to you isn't written in a sentence. It, it's they're not putting it into sentences. This is a skill for life. It really, really is. Pay attention to everything that you're given. I don't understand why people are going around being like, oh, this is how I work this problem, and they're not looking at, it's a multiple choice fucking question, and they never look at what the possible answers are until after they have an answer. And then they just, like, match up what they did to the possible answers at that point. And this is the first time they've seen the possible answers. That is a ridiculous way to do this. Why would you do that? What? What? It's like going into somebody's, a stranger's house, you know, like they invite you over whatever you're at a party or something and you just like close your eyes, wander around, find a corner to shit in and then open your eyes and look around and like, is this the bathroom? That's literally the same approach. Why would you do that? Right? Like when I'm saying that's a dumb way to do shit, I'm not kidding. That is a retarded fucking way to do shit. Why would you just... You wouldn't just wander around, like, artificially blindfold yourself, stumble around somebody's house, shit in a corner, and then be like, oh, did I hit the toilet? But that's exactly what you're doing with these math problems, the way that you're approaching them. Why? God damn it. 